Hey pretty girls, welcome to Mommy Monday. I'm so excited that you're here with me again. If this is the first time you've been with me on Mommy Monday, go and hit the subscribe button. Um, just tell much decided to join me today. So I thought that'd be all right. Hope you guys don't mind. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you um, one way to upcycle your jeans. Um, I've really been liking the distressed jean look and I went shopping a couple weeks ago and I noticed that all of, of the distressed jeans were like $80 to $100. So I'm going to share with you one way to do it yourself. I know everyone might not have the same approach as me. If I were to ask my dad how to do this, um, for those of you that don't know, I grew up on a farm, so he'd probably say to just go work really hard and then I could get natural holes in my jeans. But I have really good news for you. You don't even have to work that hard. So let me just show you how. It's like that fast. All right, girls, let's get started. So first I just put my pants on and I'm marking with a washable pen where I want my holes to be. Next, I'm going to go and mark where I want to cut the bottom of my jeans. I kind of want them to be high waters because it's summer and I think they're really cute. And I'm just going to take my pants off and lay them on a flat surface. First, I'm just cutting off the bottom of my pants. And now, I'm going to begin distressing the bottom of my jeans and I found the easiest way to do this is to just um, put the pants in between my scissors and just use the sharp edge to fray them. It works. It's really nice because you don't have to use a really sharp razor or anything and I feel like it's kind of the safest way. I kind of think it's cute to have my pants be a little bit high waters. And it's a little bit more cool for the summer, which I really, really like. Alright, so now we're going to get started putting holes in the knees. And I'm going to just put something in between um, my pants so that I don't cut through them. I just use a little piece of paper. And now I am just using my scissors to cut in the places where I made my lines. And the nice thing about this DIY is that it really doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, the lines can be crooked, whatever. Just cut the lines and call it good. When I'm cutting the lines, I like to make sure that they aren't stacked right above each other. I kind of try to stagger them a little bit, just so it makes it look more like a natural hole, I guess. Alright, now for the fun part. Now we're just going to fray the ends or around the circle, around the hole, I mean like we did on the bottom of our pants and um, you know just make it look nice and fringy, nice and messy and rustic and once it starts looking like this you can call it good and now we'll jump into the really fun part alright so now we're just taking the vertical um, pieces of denim and pulling them out with tweezers. This is kind of the part that takes the most time, but it honestly only took me like five minutes for each knee, so it was pretty fast. But um, to loosen it, you can kind of um, you can use your scissors and fray the edges if it's not coming loose, but it should come out pretty easy. At least mine did. It 
should start looking like something like this, just really nice and distressed. Once it starts looking like this, you know you're almost done. And now I'm just cutting off kind of the loose, the really loose strings. And after that is all you have to do is put your pants in the dryer for a couple minutes. You are done! And my video today I hope you learned something and um, if you end up trying um, this technique be sure and take a picture and tag me on Instagram yeah I would love to see what you guys come up with so anyways I hope you guys have a great day um, I love you so much bye